Hi everyone, I'm back again. Um, a bit late. This page was done on the 24th of November 2022 and we're now in 2023. So I uh, apologise for my PJs there, the view of those. After this frame goes, you don't see them again, thank goodness. So I just applied a, um, a coat of gesso in was it this one no I've just edited three videos so I don't know what I'm doing um, so just wiping it off over the pages where it seeped through but then I like to join the pages and get the texture that it gives and I think my mics it's needing to be um, charged oh here we go that's right it was this one I wanted another layer of gesso for some reason. Right, now this was an unnamed stamp, stamp set that I'd bought uh, from Amazon, I think. And because it had um, dream catchers on there. And for whatever reason, I don't know. We love the effect embossing powder, um, heat embossing gives us, but the process is just atrocious mess everywhere but and for whatever reason it, it I can never do it right when I clear emboss and then go over it with mediums it doesn't turn out the way others have it nice and clear but anyway that's okay you can still see them in there on the completed page now this was also a, another stamp there that it wasn't a complete um, dream catcher so you could create your own and I'm just using Versamark um, clear embossing ink for the um, heat embossing go and I, I think I'll give you a close-up in a minute so you can actually see it currently mm -hmm. I think my embossing powder is a bit dirty anyway a Tim Holtz layering stencil this is the sparkle layering stencil and I'm applying matte medium over that and I start off very carefully just dabbing away there with my sponge and in the end I get sick of it and I just rub it all over anyway can't remember why I did that maybe to have a resist yeah so here I go just rubbing it all over not worrying whether it's a nice and neat style so here goes my lovely spraying in my lovely um, spray box and the first one I bring out does not work won't spray I've since um, poured it into a new container I know we can get the um, it, like the spray top sections but I had a spare bottle there and I think I have those extra spray tops but anyway now I did not list all the sprays that I used they were various shades of blue and but they all they all are listed in a blog post on my blog the link is in the description below this video I got a bit lazy sorry another one that I'm having issues with sorry about the banging if you can hear it outside Hubs is um, creating a 
a protection shelter from the possums uh, for my cucumbers. So we have possums here, so we've got to try and save our fruit and veggies that we grow somehow. So he's going to add some wire over the top of it. So isn't it looking yummy with all those shades of blue? And then I go and do something that um, I sort of kicked myself for because I was just too lazy to let it dry on its own. Anyway, so here I go, bringing it out. So I should have saved those under pages, but no, I scrunched them up and put them in the bin. Just cleaning up the mess here, but then I realised it ain't going to happen, so look what I do. Silly girl. However, I only did it the one side. Then I go and um, push those together, smooch them, try and clean up the pages. And then, voila, that's pretty. I mean, it was prettier before. Now I'm trying to clean over the um, embossed dream catches, but it just wasn't happening. Hmm. I try. Anyway, you can see them, not um, very defined in the um, end page, but the colours look so pretty. And I have got um, shimmer in there too, so it's all good. So I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas, didn't eat too much, <laughs> I think we did. Alright, so I finally got the um, Tim Holtz grit paste, this is the snowfall one, and going over with that same um, layering stencil, the sparkle stencil I think it's called. I'm trying to um, apply a very thin layer because I don't like too chunky a journal although I think this is the second to last page in this journal and the last page was just a um, quick intro to the whole journal so that'll be in the next video Now here I'm going with an embossing um, thingamajig, but it didn't work. So going through over all those um, dried grit paste stars with an embossing pillow. And now using my Ink Essentials clear embossing ink pen over the sparkles. Not all of them, just some. I love the pens. And then using white embossing powder over that. And they do stand out, a few of them. And the oth others are there, they're just clear. And it has the texture of them all on that page. But it's not overly um, dimensional, which is good. So the rest of it is just working on the title 
and this is a micron, a Pigma micron brush pen. Just writing in the um, title, don't let anyone or anything dull your sparkle. Um, and I had a bit of problem with the actual sparkle, so I decided to die cut some letters and in the black and white and add them. So, yeah, there's really nothing much else to say about it. So I might just put on some music until the end and sit back and just watch my efforts, I guess. <laughs>
that was a very long video for such a oh, not very interesting page. Lots of texture in it, but um, it's not one I really like. But anyway, we can't help that. It is what it is. So I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your patience um, over the last few years where I haven't really done much at all um, due to family issues, well, tragedies. So I'm back and loving playing in my art journals. So if you feel like coming along for the ride, we've got a, a lot more to come. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again next week. Bye.